And we have new information tonight on the woman shot to death in Queens after she answered her front door. Tonight, a suspect is in custody. Police say he shot her multiple times. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis live at the scene in Ozone Park with the details. Jenna. Maurice, the victim has been identified as 51-year-old Anna Torres. Police say she lived in the home here and at least two other family members were at home when she was shot and killed. You can see police are still on scene here tonight in this rattled neighborhood. It's just got to stop. The gun violence is out of control. <laughs> gun violence hitting close to home for Susanna Torres, who received a frantic call from her mother this afternoon. She was shocked. They heard a noise and they thought it was an accident. But it was a shooting at her neighbor's home at the corner of 109th Avenue and 96th Street. All day, the house was surrounded by investigators and yellow tape in this quiet neighborhood. Yeah, but I'm totally shocked. There is no crime. I never even see any crime here. Like you don't know what it is, so it's scary when your family literally lives like yeah. in front of the house that it happened. Police say they were called to the home around 2.30 p.m. to find 51-year-old Anna Torres shot at least twice. She was pronounced dead at the scene. A preliminary investigation uh, revealed that a 41-year-old male walked up to the house, knocked on the door, and when the female answered, the male fired multiple rounds. The same male exited the house, got into a vehicle. A short time later, a vehicle respond, uh, traveled to the 106 precinct. Investigators say the man, identified as 41-year-old Giuseppe Canzani, placed a loaded gun on the sidewalk outside the police station and was taken into custody. The individual that was apprehended is going to be charged with murder in the second degree and criminal possession of a firearm. Video from the neighborhood at the time of the incident shows a woman and child running on the sidewalk and across the street, a man matching the description of the suspect appearing to hold a gun and enter a car. All unsettling for neighbors. It's every day you hear somebody getting shot, but something needs to be done, you know? 51 years old is too young. The relationship between the suspect and the victim, if any, and a motive is unclear tonight. We also learned the victim's son is a member of the NYPD, but police don't believe that has anything to do with the shooting. We're live in Ozone Park, Queens. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thank you.